Okay, so we're on module five, uh, textbook project. Uh, this will be part three. So part three is starting on page 24. And uh, the very first thing it tells us to do is click the new sheet button at the bottom of the window to add a new worksheet to the workbook. So we're going to click the add a new sheet button. Now it says on step one to click sheet one, sheet tab, to display the worksheet. Click the Select All button to select the entire worksheet. Right here, that selects it all. Click the Copy button on the Home tab. And then we're on the top of page 25. Click the Sheet 2 tab. Mine says Sheet 3, don't worry about that. I'll fix it in a minute. Uh, it says sheet three or sheet two, and it says press enter to copy the office data. Let's see. Okay, and we hit enter. Okay, it says zoom to approximately 120%. And it says copy a worksheet using the shortcut menu. So that's one way to copy and paste one worksheet to another. Now we're going to use another way. Copy a worksheet using the shortcut menu. So it says right click sheet one sheet tab. Right click sheet one sheet tab. On page 26 it says move or copy. Click on it, and then the before sheet list, we want to place, a, create a copy, move to end, and then number three says click OK. So now we have another sheet that has a weird name to it, OK? Well, we'll fix that. That's that's a copy two of sheet one. All right, now number one on copying a worksheet using control. Another way to create a copy of a worksheet is by pressing control while you drag the sheet tab. This is the fastest way of doing it. So we're going to click on sheet one. We're going to click the control button and we're going to ja drag this sheet to over to the very far right side, right here. And we're going to release it. And now we have copy three of sheet one. Okay. So now we have all of these and they're all the same. They just have different names. So now we're going to leave the sheet names alone for now and we're going to go ahead and do what's called drill and entry through a worksheet. So if I put one entry in Word and Worksheet like in this particular cell here, here on D16, it's going to put it in all of the D16s on all of our worksheets. Okay, so that's what calling drill and entry through a worksheet is. So okay, so we're going to right click sheet one right here and then select all sheets then we're going to select C5, C5, and we're going to type 2.5, 2.5, and we're going to push the down arrow, and it takes us to it. Now, uh, see here, enter 15 remaining 21, 22 values from table 5-6, so we have table 5-6 up here. Uh, and the appropriate cells to display the actual percentages. So we're going to come up here and in C5 it is 2.5 and C6 it's 2. C7 is 2. C8 is 1. C9 is 1. C10 is 1. Advertising is minus 1. And there's our magenta color that we formatted. Remember when we did that in the back and in, in the past assignment? We'll stop two. Okay, and then here's negative two. So that's in C12. I'll go over here to E5, which is in our chart on page 27. 
and it says E5, we want to change the projected change to 2.5. E6 is 3, E7, 3, E8 is 1, E9 is 1, E10 is 2, E11 is negative 1, and E12 is negative 2.25. Okay, so we have done the step one on the bottom of page 27, which says enter the 15 remaining 2021 values um, from table 5-6 to appropriate cells to display the actual percentages. And yours should look like 5-37 at the bottom of page 27. Now on page 28, it says right-click sheet one and then ungroup ungroup sheets. Now this is where the magic comes from drilling it in. Okay so now we're going to double click sheet 2 which mine says sheet 3. Double click it and by double clicking it it allows me to change the name of the sheet. So it's highlighted. Now I'm going to click in Lady Lobster. Lady Lobster. Oops I forgot the T. Lobster. Okay, and then press enter to change the worksheet name. Now it says right click the worksheet tab to point to a tab color. And we want this tab to be tan accent 4. Tan accent 4. And then double click cell A2. Cell A2. And it's put our our editing in there and we want to instead of saying consolidated expense worksheet we want it to say lady lobster oh my goodness i messed up Let me just retype it. It'll be quicker. The Lady Lobster Expenses Worksheet. Okay, my bad. All right, select so cell A1 and A2. We're going to change the fill color. And it wants us to change this to tan accent for. It doesn't look tan to me, but that's what it says it is. So tan accent four. And then number five, it says the font color. Uh, we want to make it automatic. So we're going to click on the font color. We want to tell it to go automatic, and it will automatically pick the color that's the best. Enter the following data in the indicated cells. Now, remember we drilled through. Sheet one, here's all of our data. Sheet two has all of our data as well. And remember, we made it 120%, so that's why it looks larger. And now we want to put different data in here in sheet two. So instead of the the uh, cells here, we're going to fix it. So data for Lady Lobster, cell B5. We're going to put in amounts now, 7920720. Well, let me get to the right keys here. My fingers are weird. Right. There we go. Five two four seven thirty nine two zero 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 point zero zero. Storage is B eight one four four zero zero. B's is B9, 6200 B10 is $40,295.20. Advertising is $3,599.64. And the last one is $2,500. Okay. If you look down at the amounts, you will see that everything has changed. All of the math that we've created, it's all there. So check it with figure 5-38 and the number should be $145,449.43 and ours is. Now we did get a little error message here. 
and it's probably because up here at the top it's trying to pull in that 220 to uh, 2020 number so if it tells us to get rid of it we will if it doesn't then we won't okay so now it wants us to modify the henry haddock sheet so we're going to double click the sheet one which is the second copy and we're going to change this one to henry haddock hit enter and then it wants us to it doesn't want us to change the Oh yeah, it does have the tab color. Number two on the step says change the tab color to teal accent two. Teal accent two. And then it wants us to double click cell A2. And it wants us to change the word consolidated to the word Henry had it. That's what I did not do the last time. I forgot to select the word consolidated before I typed a lady lobster. So Henry Haddock, enter. Now select the cells A1 and A2, and we're going to change the color of the fill again. And it wants us to do teal accent two. So fill, teal accent two. Fill color gallery, and it tells us to do the font color is automatic, so automatic, and then entering the following data. So now we've got to put Henry Haddock's data in. So B5 is $72,870.62, B6 is $14,027.60, B7 is $19,000. Storage B8 is $13,248. B9 is $7,500. B10 is $3,951.58. And B11 is $3,311.67. And the last one is $2,500. Okay. And we should have $136,409.47 matching figure 5-39 in cell B13, and we're good. So we're going to go on to now the shrimp one. So we're going to double click again. Uh, we're going to do the sheet one third copy this time. We're going to type in Sharon shrimp. And we'll hit enter, and then we'll right click and sheet tab color. And we're going to do orange in the standard colors. And we're going to double click cell A2 again. I'm going to drag through the word consolidated, and we're going to change it to Sharon Shrimp. Three on the bottom of page 30. Step four, now select cells A1 and A2. I'm going to change the fill color. And this one's going to be orange, which is on our standard color palette. And then we're going to change the font to automatic again. And then now we're going to enter the data for Sharon Shrimp. So I'm not going to read them out loud. I'm just going to type them in. So if you want to pause me, that's fine. And then over on B9, We should have $133,159.35, okay? And I'm going to click somewhere off, and I'm going to click on my Save button to save it. And now we're going to reference cells across worksheets, okay?
So to reference a cell in another worksheet, you have to say equals to find the you know formula. Then you're going to put the sheet name and then the cell name. Okay. So we're going to double click sheet one tab and we're going to uh, call it consolidated. Then we're going to right click to change the color and it's going to be blue gray with accent one. Okay, so now all of our sheets have different colors. Okay, and then on cell uh, page number 33, we're going to do a 3D reference. So let's select cell B5. And we want to pull information in from another uh, worksheet. Or So we're going to click on, let's see here. We'll click the auto sum button and then we're going to click on the lady lobster tab and we're going to select B5 and you see our uh, marquee is still doing the auto sum. Then we're going to shift click to the Sharon shrimp that selects all of the cells or sheets between and if you notice up here it says the sum of lady lobster to sharon shrimp so it's lady lobster henry haddock and sharon shrimp and it's the cell b5 okay so we're going to hit enter and it's going to take us back to our consolidated sheet and it's going to show the $220,789.88. So that's all the payroll uh, from the three different worksheets. Okay. We go back up to it. It's going to show us. We already looked at that while ago. Okay. All cells B5 from Lady Lobster to Sharon Shrimp is going to sell. All right, now we're going to use the Paste Gallery. With cell B5 active, we're going to click the Copy button. And then we're going to go to cells B6 to B12. And B6 to B12. And then click the Paste arrow. to display the different paste gallery. We're going to click the formulas button. Formulas. So we're just going to copy the formulas and paste those formulas into the cells. Okay, we're going to click escape to clear the marquee. The escape button is the top left hand key on the keyboard. And it deselects everything. We're going to click on save again to save all that hard work we did, getting all those totals in. And now we're at a breaking point. This is the end of part three of the textbook project module five, consolidated worksheet, consolidated expenses.